Hello learners, I hope all of you are safe in this pandemic and I do hope also that uh, you are still interested and have a motivation in studying in this new normal situation. So I am Mr. Dennis Ialopo, your EIM teacher. So learners, it is my pleasure to welcome you in electrical installation and maintenance subject. So all of you are grade 9 students and I do hope that all of you will learn a lot in my subject. Because did you know that being an electrician is one of the most payable skill job not only here in the Philippines but also in abroad. So take this opportunity to learn more in electrical. But before we finally start our lesson, let's have a short game first. Okay? I will give a prize in this particular game. Okay? You will guess the word in the jumble letters. Okay? What do you think is that related to electrical? Okay? Correct? That is lamp. Next, we have stulong. What do you think? Okay, that is fluorescent. We have also, yes, that is balas. And we have plus, that is, okay, starter. And I know some of you has already an idea what is our topic for this day. Our lesson is about installing electrical lighting system on on an LCR outlets and lighting fixtures, particularly in learning outcome that is fluorescent lighting fixtures. So, furthermore, let's talk about the objectives of this particular lesson. So, at the end of this uh, lesson, you will identify the different parts of fluorescent lamp in job requirements. You will develop skill in fine pleasure in familiarizing different parts and function of fluorescent lamp. Third one, value the importance of fluorescent lamp in job requirements. And for this, for the content standard of this lesson, the learner demonstrate understanding of underlying principle in the installation of electrical lighting system, auxiliary outlet and lighting fixtures. Okay? For the performance standards, the learner independently installs electrical lighting systems, auxiliary outlets, and lighting fixtures based on the Philippine Electrical Code standards. So, the Philippine Electrical Code, that is the book of electrician. And the uh, local code utility company regulation. Okay? So, before we tackle or discuss, let's have a pre-test first. So, don't worry about the result of this uh, pre-test because this is just for me to know your prior knowledge or your stock knowledge in this particular topic. So, direction. Given the picture above, choose your answer from the words inside the box below. Do it in your activity notebook. So, I will give you 30 seconds to answer. Timer start now. Okay, time's up. Let's proceed. So, let's discuss about fluorescent lamp. So, that is the actual picture of fluorescent lamp. So, some of you are already familiar with this particular electrical material. So, fluorescent lamp is a form of electric discharge light source. It consists of glass tube containing mercury vapor at low pressure and a net guard gas like argon and krypton the interior is coated with phosphor which glows when exposed to ultraviolet lights so at this lesson we will uh, focus on the fluorescent lamp 
and we will tackle and discuss what are those parts of fluorescent lamp. So furthermore, did you know that the person behind this uh, fluorescent lamp is a Filipino? He is Agapito Flores. He invented the fluorescent lamp which is the most widely used source of lighting in the world today. The fluorescent lamp reported got its name from Flores. So that's why fluorescent because it came from uh, Flores, his family name. The fluorescent lamp, however, was not invented in particular year. It was the product of 79 years of the development of the lighting method that began with the invention of electric light bulb by Thomas Edison. So, of course, not only uh, Agapito Flores was the person behind this successful uh, invention. There are a lot of uh, person involved for this um, successful invention. But, Agapito Flores got this uh, particular electrical materials. Okay? So, now you know. We are all Filipino and we are proud. So, let's discuss the classification of fluorescent lamp. There are two classification of fluorescent lamp. So, first, it is a regular fluorescent lamp. And under regular fluorescent lamp, we have three class classification or types. The first one is the circular type fluorescent lamp. So, as you can see in this picture, the example of circular type fluorescent lamp because uh, from the word is from the word is uh, circular, okay? Meaning circle. Letter B, open type fluorescent. So take a look for the picture, actual picture of open type, okay? So some of the most commonly used fluorescent nowadays is open type. In, uh, especially in residential. The third one, or letter C, box type fluorescent lamp. So, usually we can uh, see it in the, um, not only residential, but also in the, in some area of our buildings that is commercial. Okay? So, please uh, remember those regular fluorescent lamp okay and then second classification of fluorescent lamp is the compact so this is the actual picture of compact fluorescent lamp so some of it is a spiral okay as you can see in the picture so that is compact fluorescent lamp so let's discuss the parts and function of fluorescent lamp okay the first parts of fluorescent lamp is fluorescent tube is a circular bulb containing mercury vapor and inert gas with phosphor coating inside so that is the actual picture of fluorescent tube so it is a circular bulb or circle so it contains aluminum cup electrode co coil argon krypton atoms uh, glass stem cathode shield liquid mercury and phosphor coating Next one, we have balas. It's an induction coil which produces high voltage to start the lamp into operation. It also limits the flow of current during the operation of the lamp. Balas consume power, which is between 10 to 20% of power consumed by the lamp itself. So, in other words, this is, um, balas is, is a kind of uh, transformer, small transformer. So, there are two types, induction type balas and electronic type balas. Okay, take note of that. So, there are parts and operation function of balas. As you can see, the uh, coil, coil inside, it has coil inside, laminated iron core, terminal block, and a balas frame. Okay. Balas also serves three important functions. The first one, it preheats the electrodes to make available a large supply of electron 
Second, it provides a huge a surge of relative large potential to start the arc between the electrodes. The third one, it, it prevents the arc current to increase behind the limit set for each size and lamp. So, as I mentioned, it is a small transformer. The next part of fluorescent lamp is starter. So, starter played a very important role also in the fluorescent lamp because it's a glow switch that opens and closes the circuit so as to produce a high voltage or inductive kick across the bulb at the filament during the starting period. Okay? So, that is the actual picture of starter. Next, the parts of starter, we have a uh, starter housing, base contact, and con connecting wires. So, inside the starter, we we would see the glass bulb, the electrode, and the bimetal strip. So next we have lamp holder and starter socket. That is the actual picture. There are a lot of types of lamp holder and starter socket. So the point of connection of fluorescent and starter. Okay. Lastly, the frame. So is the metal housing of whole picture so it is the housing of the fluorescent tube so that's conclude the parts of fluorescent lamp and functions so let's have a self check i would like to know how much you have learned in the discussion so direction given the following pictures choose your answer from the words inside the box below do it in your activity notebook. Okay, so I will give you 30 seconds to answer. Timer start now. Okay, time's up. Next, we have uh, multiple choice. Direction. In your activity notebook, answer the following question. Write only the letter of the correct answer. So, read carefully and uh, choose the letter only. Okay, I will give you one minute. Time will start now. task 2 is in your activity notebook do the learning task below look for fluorescent inside your house and draw it then level the different parts of it and make an schematic diagram so you will uh, pass this also in the messenger take a photo of it or if you have uh, time pass it in the barangay so that uh, the school will collect all your outputs. So here are the rubrics of the activity. 543, the criteria, content, grammar, and neatness. Okay. Reminders. All your outputs must be submitted through my FB Messenger or in our Facebook group page. 
you can also pass it in your respective barangay. Okay? That's all our lesson. Thank you. God bless and stay safe.